everybody, and welcome to the honorable mentions discussion of this year's DB December, which uh, the comments, uh, they've been ongoing and quite divisive, especially with uh, a number of things that we have not included, but there are reasons. There, there, are, there are reasons for that, and the main reason being opinions, mostly. <laughs> the, well, uh, it should also be noted that this is being recorded, like, before... Before, like, the, like this, I think this five recorded, goes up today. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, Kanzan went up today, and I dropped a little tidbit in this one that the solar flare didn't make the list. Oh. And let me tell you, there are some people who are salty as fuck. And you know what? It, and they have every right to be. Solar I, flare mm. is one of the most utilized techniques in the show that yeah. it, it, just, it does so much, but ironically lacks flare. Uh, you know, and I think that was kind of one of the deciding factors behind it. Like, here's the thing, though. It's got a neat pose. Um, it's got, like, a couple variations on it. You can, like, use the like the one with just the... Two yeah, when, T when, T when one, TN's doing or, the whole yeah, Borderlands yeah. thing. Yeah, it's it's interesting because you can do it in multiple different ways. And it's got a it's got a memorable pose. And strategically, it is used all throughout the fucking series. Like, yeah. constantly to effect. And Krillin like, always has it in the games. It's Krillin's move, damn yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know why. None of us... It's you know, and that might be on us. That might have been us not doing our due diligence, or maybe it just didn't deserve to be on the list. I'd have to week. go back and watch our list making video. There, yes, which if in you're order, a patron, you'll be able to see. Um, and we'll probably release it later. For yeah. I don't know, hard to say, but it's it's hard to say why it didn't really make the list. It's it's. it's it's certainly a memorable move. I know it was on my list, but when I think of Dragon Ball, I think high intensity, explosive, big badass yeah. yeah. shit, you know? It, it didn't instant transmission make the top ten? It did, so did Hits Time Stop, which is basically a skeleton. Those are like those yeah. are just, just those are so cool. powers everybody wishes they could have. It's true. Yeah, not everybody wishes they could make lights brighter. I, I, I mean, mean, I've seen the boys. I don't necessarily want that I power. Mean, I mean the reason that Bukujutsu or flying didn't make the list is because I mean at the end of the it's, day, it's, it's flying. Generic. It, it, it wasn't invented in Dragon Ball. It's like yeah. okay, they're flying. I mean, neither was teleportation per se, but, but at least the it had type some rules. Of yeah, it had rules yeah, that yeah. specifically tied it to the universe. Unlike, like, unlike flying, which is like, oh, we, we can just walk on air. Don't worry about it. No, yeah. you have to feel happy in your stomach and you gotta stand you in the middle and, your key, and feel it coming key. up and then you, everybody did that. I like I like to think that Ten Shin Han did actually have to like, all right, think find happy something thoughts. that makes yeah. you happy. <laughs> what makes you happy, Ten Shin Han? Sprinkle the fairy dust. And you know what? That's a good limitation, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it should have deserved something. Yeah, I, it's, it's hard to say. But all the bad guys can do it too. And they think about happy thoughts like killing people. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah. yeah. No, a happy thought is a happy thought. It doesn't have to be a good thought. So but enough, like but enough, but enough about your thought. mom. We're <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that'll be number one on our list of techniques. The sick burning attack. Uh, <laughs> it's not on the list. Another one is burning attack. Let's talk about that, I guess. Burning attack looks really cool, but it also, like, is dumb as fuck. It's a, that's all it has going for it, is yeah. that. Yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's all it has. Which, and let me tell you, I practiced a bunch as a everybody kid. Everybody did. Yeah, everybody did. It's it's just wailing your fucking arms around, sticking it out, and firing a firing. It's a not like blast. Naruto where you're actually doing hand signs and shit. It's just yeah. There's actually like assigned hand signs to that shit. This one is just like. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, like so you're gonna Kenshiro someone yeah, to death. Bur <laughs> yeah. Burning attack. Memorable, never gonna make the list. It is just a little, it's a ball. It's a ball. It's just none, a of, ball. none of Trunks' techniques make the list. Keep Dome Attack is a neat, but it's also kind of like... It's also just a, like, I mean, what what is it? It's, but, uh, it's, it's a dome with a beam. It's a, it's a dome, like, it's like, a beam, so, so it's, it's a cell so, 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 so it's a barrier, and also he shoots it. It's a barrier like, and like, like it's an energy zit. He piles yeah, all this energy in there and then just jumps. He's sitting there trying to pop it, and just there he goes. They make videos about that. It, make, it disturbs me. Doctor Pimple Popper. Yeah, I hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. We're gonna move on. There's a part of but me that. What if you were trunks? Suggested videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, none of trunks is uh, Piccolo. You know, Piccolo made the list a lot. He's Twice. got some cool yeah. moves. Yeah. Um, they, they got style. He yeah. has style going for him. Piccolo is always cool. Yeah. Uh, but Light Grenade did not make the list, but then again, Light it's, Grenade it's is... Just a it's a ball. Yeah, it's, it's a ball of energy. It's his most boring attack, but it's always his level three. I hate that, Yeah, you too. Yeah. I it's... I don't know. It's 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 weird. I mean, he's, he's we're not throwing in his, like, whatever his evil cannon. 
Like the Masenko or whatever oh, his Mas- variant is. Oh, uh, he, 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 yeah. has, he has a Kamehameha that's a, like... I think... I, I, I can't remember what the fuck it's called, but he has just a beam attack. Does he have, does he have a beam attack? I, I mean, swear to God Masenko? he does. I mean, does he ever actually... actually he doesn't say yeah, Masenko. I don't think he ever actually does a Masenko. Does he? But I know I've yeah, seen him fire just a to, yellow beam. He teaches it to Gohan. Which is really funny, because Gohan le- learns a move from Piccolo that has evil in the name, Ma. Yeah. The Ma in Masenko is literally evil. And <laughs> I like the idea that Gohan just kept the evil blast for the rest of his life. Well, it's to honor his dad, then. You know. <laughs> Speaking of evil, evil containment wave? You know, the Mafuba was... It almost, we talked yeah, about it that. It almost yeah. made the list. The Moth Buzz because it has a huge drawback, and yeah. it's like it's 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 cool. Yeah, it's a cool move. It's Except good. it has a notable inclusion in old, in like in the very old Dragon Ball, and they and brought it back Super. for Super, and like I, which I was really probably like that. the biggest like oh shit, yeah. awesome, that and, was cool. And then they ruined it in Super. I mean, yeah. Listen, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> this is the where you you're you're happy the kids showed up to practice, all right? Yeah. You gotta mm-hmm. be like, hey, you're, like, you're trying. Sorry, but it's like when Roshi used it, he died. When Ten Shinhan used it. He should have died, but he didn't, and then it it's just, and then it's, multiple characters can just use it with no drawback. Well, here, well, they also set that precedent in Super a little bit, where it's like, hey, remember when Vegeta blew himself up? Well, now he can blow himself up and not die. That <laughs> was one of my least favorite, I'm sorry, that was, that part hang on, actively hang on. made me hate that whole When thing. did this happen? Super, the uh, oh, yeah. universal multiverse tournament arc. It, yeah, it was, against, uh, against Top, he actually uses his uh, self-destruction attack he used against Boo, uh-huh. but, it, but he doesn't it, yeah, die. It takes out it takes out Top, but it doesn't kill him. Okay. Which means not only did they just copy a scene from DBZ, but they did it worse. It's but here's the thing: like the entire point of that is he's literally using all of his energy to blow himself up, so he didn't actually use the technique. Yeah, but, no. But you know, speaking of uh, people, were, I, people brought that one up too. Of like you know, Vegeta's little b- blow myself up move, just just because of that one moment with with it's, Boo. Yeah, it's when like, when Vegeta pulls a, when Vegeta pulls a Chaozu just I, on a significantly larger scale. I will say this: that scene in the anime is a fucking hype it's moment. It's a great scene. It's the, one of my favorites. Like, it's really honestly sold not only by the art but the animation of like that that huge expanding mm. blast. Tearing into the water. It's a beautiful moment. His name yeah. was Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Yep. Man. Yep. Good yep. Uh. And then in the next episode, we find out it was pointless. So you know, it kind of kind of knocks that down. It made a sick uh, statue of him. I, I always thought yeah. him turning into a statue was a little weird. Like all the all like, of uh, all of his energy, man. He just turned into a little rock. He, yeah. He, yeah. He like he calcified himself by getting rid of all of his life force. Yeah. Is that is that just what happens? Or did Piccolo show up and be like? Maybe that's what Du Bois is doing. He's taking out all your life force oh, when yeah. he spits on you. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't. but then he brings a bet. I don't fucking know. Du Bois is the worst at oral. <laughs> Get some rock hard easy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad you said it instead of all me. Right, fair enough. Um, but yeah. Uh, other moves, um, I, uh, it, it was very salty that the uh, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack did not make the list. It's- I remember us talking about that, and it was just, I feel like, because it's a really cool... It's an amazingly original move. Like yeah. everything Gotenks does is like just so off the wall. It's, it's, crazy it's creative shit. as shit. Uh, but it ultimately came. I think it came down to the fact that what do they do? They like blow themselves up and then they steal other people's moves, which was like it's kind of neat. That, when, like, really, and that and Boo really does cool. a variant yeah. of it. And I feel like it was like number thirteen or something. We like, almost it was, had it. It was close. It, it did, was very close. Yeah. If this had been. It, like, if, if I hadn't been as much of a salty bitch as I was, it may have replaced Hellzone Grenade, but I was never, ever I, going to let that happen, blame that's me. That's right, because we are talking about, like, oh, in fighters, it's just, you know, they're the exact same move. Because you have, like, a whole bunch of little dudes going around the yeah. screen, they're filling up the same tactical idea. Like, it, it's there. Yeah. But Piccolo did it first. Piccolo did it first, and it did it in a way cooler scene. Uh, yeah. I mean, Gotenks is basically just comedy. And that's fine, yeah. uh, if, if that's what you're there for. But it's also, you know, strategically, it is literally, its huge biggest detriment is the person using it. Gotenks is a fucking idiot. Grant so, isn't here, so I guess you can say it. <laughs> no, no, Grant, Grant would agree instantly I mean, he, that yeah, Gotenks I mean, he's is an a, idiot, yeah, but that's kind here. of his point, yeah. is that he's a child. Exactly. He and, has no experience in combat, so he's going to use his imagination. He's like a Green Lantern. He's got the power of 50 grown-ups. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, he can lift a card and he doesn't have to go to bed at 10. <laughs> the other thing that I was salty about but completely understand was that 
the spirit sword that Trunks uses is a hype fucking scene yeah. moment concept. But it's, um, it's it's also just a variant on the spirit bomb. Kind yeah, of no, thing. It, it is. A, it's a spirit bomb variant. At the end of the day, I'm listen. I'm always a fan of people getting cut in half vertically. Mm. That is that is the best way. From to the get, dick. Yeah, up. from the dick up. Like if you're gonna cut somebody, that's probably the worst way to do it. So props on props on Trunks for that. I can't, yeah, I can't knock this move. I feel like we came down to it was just did. Did Spirit Sword make it? I don't remember. Don't Spirit remember. Sword didn't. Make I feel, yeah, we we yeah. talked about that too in the same vein of like it's just. I don't think any of the, I don't think any of the fusion only moves made it. Yeah. Um. I mean, they it, did. Yeah. It, they they didn't. Um. They were a lot of fun, and that's you know the funny thing is we actually covered a lot of it in the fusion video. It's because like <laughs> it's because one of the reasons fusion is ranked so high is because it actually creates other techniques within it. Yeah. Um, and even if the final Kamehameha, while looking really cool, is yeah. literally just another beam. I mean, it's still really cool that we get something called the final Kamehameha. And it looks really cool and super. Like, like... It looks really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... Fusion kind of covered all of the fusion techniques just by like being yeah. like, yeah, no, it makes go tanks, it makes Vegeta. They get all these cool things and their own personalities. And okay, no, actually, every fusion basically has the same personality, mm -hmm. which is cocky asshole. But you know what? Fuck it, they're fun. Yeah, they're but fun. They're all, every fusion is also a Saiyan, so yeah, <laughs> the cocky assholeness is just kind of amplified. And they're also it, almost all of them have a semblance of Vegeta's DNA in them. So, Which, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> By the way, I, I, I did not notice this until I had, actually had to edit the video. Wow, the Big Bang Kamehameha sucks in GT. Wow. I was not expecting it to I be like that. I like the little good. ball that, like, no, 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 like the, no, no, the, that the part's cool. Yeah, no, the move is cool, but, like, the actual animated scene is not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot. Like I like how he, he makes the ball. Yeah. And then it, it, and like, then it like, like kind of like, like tetra And then it, like, tetragrams in and out. Like, yeah. And then, but the actual blast sucks. Wow. Oh. Um, which is, it's actually sort of funny because then I was watching, um, it was, I think it was either Heroes, it was, it was one of the games where they do it and it looks way, I think it was my actually best, Budokai 3. Budokai 3 is, is my favorite memory of that move. That yes. is why yeah. that move is so, Big like, Bang Kamehameha! Big Bang Kamehameha! Like, it, like, yeah. It's, you know, especially spamming. his level 3 when he's like, the, you turn around and they're punching him a ton and he's like, mm -hmm. I didn't even feel it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. that like, oh, ugh. that shit is really good. I wish that was that cool. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of the GT specific moves make it. I mean, uh, not, not that there are a whole lot of them. So, I'm actually going to say that it might have featured in the 13th movie first. I I would actually say that Dragon Fist is a GT move. Okay, because it is used a majority in GT. Um, it's it's used a lot, but, but that but that's yeah. because it originated in like the the, the Harutagarn movie. What yeah. We're talking about a is a post boo world. Is yeah. this is this GT for you? I would say I personally I would like and and technically I'm wrong, but practically. But I it's, I, I yeah. feel you though. There there is that level of well boo's gone, so we're yeah. GT now. Yeah, okay. I, that's 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 the way I feel. I feel like it's a GT move, even if I'm technically wrong and it was in a Z movie. Which you know, it, it takes place before the end of Z. To be fair, some it, people <laughs> some people got a little bit angry when we said that. Uh, well, when I said that, Kefla was the best addition to uh, Super. You said it was the best addition to Super. I believe. And, it. and some people were like, "Well, what about Beerus and Whis?" He uh, showed up in a Z movie. Battle Gods was not. It super was not labeled exist, Super. Then. It's a Z so, movie. Well, uh -huh. well, I think that Beerus and Whis. Are better than Hit. I think Hit is the best introduction yeah. from Super. Anyway, so um, yeah, uh, not a lot of GT moves made the list, mostly because Final Shine fucking. Yeah, sucks. somebody got was some like, people I, defending that yeah, in there. Hope, hope you defend Final Shine as the GT apologist. Like, listen, man, it's just like, it's just boom. Like that, that's it. It's just bam, it's, and it's now a, it's, it's green. A, it's a green beam. Hey, hmm. we didn't have. We haven't had a green beam. You know what? We have. We didn't have a single green. beam. I don't think beam. there was one before. I. You know what? We didn't put in Broly's space vomit. So. Oh, actually, he's got a green ball. It's not it's a beam. Be, yeah, it's not Balls a beam. Beams, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just like <laughs> when you got Final Flash. Nah, dude. Any I, day of the week. I had yeah. one that was kind of like a like somebody posed this as an interesting query. I guess that I wanted to ask. Oh, you I guys. wonder if this is what I think it is. It might be. Uh, it, it's kind of like a our hot dog sandwiches situation. Is Ultra Instinct, yep. a technique. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that's really interesting. Uh, and you know what? I didn't really consider that before other people started bringing it up. And it's difficult because for me, 
it's not a technique. It's a, it's, and it's, it's, almost, it's almost a style. Yeah, th that's mm. the, the weird thing is it's kind of it's kind of your body mastering a form. It, it's it's really weird because it's not it's not a technique, but it's not a transformation except for when it is, and then it sucks. I mean, it, it, it is a transformation. It, it is a transformation in the sense that he transforms yeah. into I, a form to use it. I but. hate that. I actually, I actually really hate that. I, I like half finished, like the the, the one where he still had the black hair, black hair is and, but like the, the blue the, aura is the best look. Yes, I think it looks way better than the silver or white. Oh hair. yeah, no, he, honestly, unfortunately, like I get what they were going for, selling but, action figures. Yeah, <laughs> yes, go, yeah, 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 there, yeah. No heroes cards. So you gotta stick. But oh. it actually just kind of makes him look old. Like if I'm being honest with you, I saw it. I'm like, no, he actually kind of looks like Grandpa Goku now. Also, it's just not like silver on him, just. The the black con contrast with his orange. I like and, the black and, with the, I like the black and the silver eyes. That's what I like. I like yeah. the, I like the silver eyes. Yeah, the silver. Oh yeah. Those look really. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry, but like omen or sign or whatever you call it, way that better. Cool. Way better than, and you know what? Master Ultra Instinct is not actually a thing. It's just Ultra Instinct. Yeah. Like it's just it's just that form and it's like you know defense yeah. and offense. We together. just we just call it mastered because it's easier to like because we were introduced to sign un slash un omen until until they give a proper name for it like they did with Super Saiyan Rage. Yeah. Super Saiyan Ikari, which yeah. Uh, but I, if it were a technique, it might. Have made the list. That that one's tough. That one. That's a whole other conversation that we are not prepared to have, especially considering that I still think it qualifies for a transformation, and I'm actually still kind of interested in perhaps the next DB December being transformation. So we'll see. But um, yeah. Uh, what else didn't make the list? Yeah, unfortunately, not a lot of things from Super made the list. Um, but then again, like I guess Super did. But a lot. But a lot of like the really cool stuff did, though. I mean, like the the coolest introduction of a technique was Hit's time stop. Yes. Abilities. Yeah. Time skip was fucking tight. I mean, like, you could you could argue that Kefla's weird candy cane the, beam the, was looked cool, like but I don't think it really had a thing, name. That thing's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, when actually I loved that. Yeah, technique that, that where she, really cool. she like starts swiping mm -hmm. and then use those those beams. That was cool as fuck. That's like, awesome. A lot yeah. of people asking about like you know Jiren's weird moves, but did they even have names? Um, they probably in fighters. Do they even have names? Yes. Yes. Okay. And they're actually pretty up. The... I can't remember it off the top of my head. They're, but they they're have all pretty. Are, wild, are they all actually. named Justice? They're, something? There's something like Justice or Burning or something. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but I will. Uh, none of his moves are all, all that interesting because you don't see them. Like the one that he actually that makes him stand out is the one that he does with his eyes. Like, yeah, the like that's something that's very much his thing. The that whole kiai he does with his eyes. Yeah, with the shh, shh. yeah, that's really a cool. that's a really cool attack. I like how I do these little things, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm hoping <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Um, and but yeah, it's the only the only character who actually had any memorable new techniques. To be completely honest, um, was hit. Uh, Kefla's was memorable, but again, it's kind of only because it looked visually striking. Yeah, yeah, it's visually striking. Um, I will say, merged uh, like merged. I was Zamas. just about to say merged Zamasu is like a little yeah. raven uh, bird thingy. If it weren't for the fact that that like okay, on one hand, that feels really super not Dragon Ball. On the other hand, it feels really super it, it, not yeah, Dragon Ball in kind of a cool way. Yeah, yeah. Also, I don't think we had the there were a lot of bleach villains hand, in the tournament of power. Thingy. Yes, all that, all that shit too. Which we didn't have the hand blades, the scythe. Oh yeah, actually, stuff too. actually, to be completely honest with you, the whole hand blade thing that uh, that Black does. Salza and Black. Oh yeah, yeah Sal Salza did that first. But if I had to be honest with you, it, it, I feel like people mem or like remember Black for it more now. Well, now it's a revisionist, and you know, yeah, what I'm saying is. So I Salza did it first. I, Salza, I were, yeah, yeah, he I, did I do I it remember. first. Also, uh, that scythe, while being ridiculous, is kind it's cool. Of super cool. It's cool. Dude, yeah. it's, it's it's hitting that Shuni demographic they're going for. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of that arc, Hakai. Didn't we talk about that? We talked about yeah, it. I, I think, feel like I, we, I, I, think, think, I, I, think we, I brought it up for because we I talked about dirty fireworks yeah. too in the same in the same I, I think, uh, thing. I think ultimately, like while while it's really cool and really effective, it's just kind of like. Bam and you're gone. It, it's there's there's nothing, which is pretty cool. It is. It's, it's really weird to me that it's not. It's that's not the name proper. Hakai is just destroy. Yeah. Like that's all that is. So when he says Hakai, 
it's hard to say whether or not he's using an attack name or he's just doing the thing. Well, because doesn't t there's, Topo try to use yeah, it? Yeah, there, so I could say that there's, there's an like, implication that there's a technique else to it because it. Topo, a mortal, is able to use it. Yeah. It, well, and the interesting thing is, like, then at, at that point, the name is just destroy, but that's boring for a lot of people, so they probably that's why think, it's called that's Hakai. Called. Yeah. No, I was literally gonna say that's why in the English version they just call it Hakai because let's be honest, because it's it okay. sounds cool. It's it's exactly. okay to use the Japanese names now. Well, and again, it's it, the thing is, it's it's not, it's not disintegration touch or some shit. Yeah, they could have they could have just said destroy, and that would have been exactly it. But they go with Hakai because destroy sounds boring for an American, so they're like, let's make it sound cool and Japanese. Give me Naruto flashbacks. I'm mm. so mad they changed the jutsu names. Oh, that sounds so body expansion jutsu. Ugh. Oh, what? <laughs> Playing possum jutsu. Playing possum jutsu. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's... And then, but they kept Rasengan. Because they knew Cause, that cause it's, them, cause they it's knew the because it's the Kamehameha <laughs> of the series. What were they going to call it? Like, us? Oh, I'm just saying that it should be a thing. Thousand uh, birds. Thousand yes, birds. One thousand. To be fair, he does still call it cheatery in the same scene. Cheatery, a thousand birds. Yeah. He says, looking at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so. There were a lot. There, there's some cool techniques in Super, but I, ultimately, you know, you have history. It's, of it's all like these we said, ones. when you try to whittle this down to top twelve, you're going to lose some bangers. Yeah, and and the important thing, like, and, I, and we mentioned this, and somebody got a little bit mad in the comments when we brought this up, but we were like, yeah, it's a top twelve of a billion, like, out of a billion different moves. Once you get to the top twelve, the placement is not all that important. And somebody's and this like, is our opinion. Yeah, and somebody's like, well, then who needs this like hyper subjective list? And I'm like, dude, that's <laughs> that's the point of a list. <laughs> Part of this is just to have fun. Yeah, yeah. It's just to have fun. We're having fun. Please don't take it. Be seriously. good people. We we we. <laughs> Except when Battle Z's on there, because it's the fucking best. Anyways. I liked, I will, I will, I love playing that up. I will always play that up. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Any other moves that you really There's, like in- uh, Body swap. Yeah, yes. you know what? You know what, body Both swap? Both you and I yeah. wanted that. Yeah, because I wanted body swap just because it's so, it's so unique, it's so Dragon Ball, it's so, like, it's another one of those things that everybody knows when they think of Dragon Ball. I, think, I feel like the Frieza saga was the, Apex Dragon Ball time. Everyone yeah, saw I, I, th I think a part in its uh, like, I, I think a part to its detriment is that it's involved in some of the worst filler that Dragon Ball ever had. You don't like Ginyu Bulma? <laughs> frog and Ginyu, <laughs> G Bulma and the Frog I is kind of weird. I, I want to point out that it's still infuriating. Do you know why they didn't cut that out of Kai? I haven't seen Kai that's in there. Yes. Yeah. And okay. here's, here's the worst part. You could have you could have cut it out. There were some people who said you can't cut it out because it's in some big important scenes. No, I've seen no. it. I, I I sat there. I'm like, no, nah, I could have cut this out. We did. <laughs> <laughs> no, we also we framed it very. Yeah, yes, I, I'm yeah. Mo I'm being facetious. Yeah, yeah. But the reason they didn't cut that fucking scene out was because they needed 52 episodes. Uh, because they were doing uh, the seasons mm -hmm, and yep. in the Frieza saga ends at episode 52. Of Kai, Ooh, okay. and they were like, "No, we gotta leave this in there to pat it out." Should have just left the space orphans, man. <laughs> um, fake Namek. Yeah. Um, well, fake Namek was like several episodes, so there was no way. Yeah. There was no way. You gotta whittle it down. But yeah, um, it's. But yeah, body swap is a really so, cool technique. But I think the reason ultimately that it really didn't make the list was just because it's a cool technique, but it's sort of. Ineffective in yeah, battle it doesn't get a lot of mileage. Uh, it has some really it has some really high moments But nothing I feel and, like that and, has and a... insane drawbacks the person needs to wait for you to hit them Yeah, you need to not hit something else and you need to be able to use their body. Yeah. Yeah you, Yeah, you know what it is it is very it is very circumstantial You have to find somebody who is stronger than you and you don't mind having their body if there's a whole list of things You have to kind of go down before you make that decision like okay. Does he have debt? Yeah, is he you know? <laughs> what is this love life? Is he my is he my sexuality? Do you, Are they my gender? Do what you is, think do you well, think you, care, uh, cares about that though because apparently this isn't even his first body that he which, just he just this guy this purple man with horns could have like been some only Salza has seen his first body, <laughs> which I want to know what that first body looks I, like. I am 
fascinating. Oh, I kind of don't. I, annoying Toriyama. Oh, yeah. a, a literal butt for a face. <laughs> it's gonna be, but I, but I that's, love it. That's it. That's I know, the one I want. <laughs> that's the one. I don't want. It's I want, why he changed. I, you know, oh, I can't take it. <laughs> I won't lie. If it were Monaka's race, I would give it. Ooh, I give it. Okay, yeah. With the yeah. big pointy nipples. Like, with the big puffy nipples. I like the idea that Monaka's race, they can learn body swap, and he was like, I'm tired of these nipples. I can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a phrase that I remember, and it's, if you're a Ginyu main in Fighters, it means you never have to buy the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so in body swap, it's cool, but it's 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 sort of limited. Like conceptually, it's a really neat attack, but it's just got a lot of drawbacks. And there's one character who's several uh, several of their moves I fought for. They all got shafted. Frieza. Free uh, yeah, no, because we I remember you were really pushing. I, for I death was beam. all for death yeah. beam because it's just like, hey, what's in that direction? It's dead. I yeah. I, I do don't think like that. Deathbeam is a really strong pick. It has so many good moments. Cell and, brings it back yeah. in a really cool way. And like, Death Ball, the only technique up until that point to actually destroy a planet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Death well, the in Death it, Ball's favor, it just looks really cool. Like, yeah, it's it a looks giant cool. fucking ball. And it's, it's and it's just fuck you. But uh, I I think the reason that it didn't make is it's a ball of energy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a big ball of energy. It's gonna make its way down to the planet core and explode. I will say this. If the if the death beam had a very specific like what it doesn't matter how strong you are this will pierce you like a that, Zon kind of thing that would have put it in my that would have elevated that, that would it's be true the thing uh, is, there, there, there was a point where it was just like he's pointing and get that shit out of my face yeah when when Goku shows up and just smacks it away and then takes one to the forehead it's like oh yeah you know the coolness of that technique was in that it was it, like it was. A, a finger blast, and it penetrated anything. It, but it, it was entirely reliant on Frieza's stopping power, and once his stopping power isn't as high as the person he's fighting, it's not very useful. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of just like escalates it immediately to being like cool visually and distinct, but ultimately, you know, there are other things that are better than that. Yeah. I'm not going to mention the death wave. It's not even a thing, really. Death wave. Death wave! Death wave! Oh, yeah. Death wave! Death wave! I'm a Frieza player. Death wave! Death wave! <laughs> okay, all right, all right, fine. Death wave. Apparently. Death wave. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, also, I, I do I do like the fact that, like, the Kienzan is just fucking ripped off a billion times and he's got his own. They do, apparently it's called, like, Death Saucer in yeah. a lot of the games and stuff, which, that's a neat name it's, for it. But it's the, it's the yeah. fucking Kienzan. Don't. But he's got it's, it's a. And they're yeah, purple. purple. Yeah. They're color coordinated. And, and he was the first person to be able to actually control them. Now, later, uh, Krillin could do that, but he was, you know, not the first two, apparently. Yeah. Freeze is so. just, if Freeze is just like a key genius. He knows what a he's genius. doing. A genius. A genius. That's a terrible word. Uh, he eats all his quinoa. Uh, and yeah, so. <laughs> it's just a grain. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds gross, though. Quinoa? Yeah. yeah. No, you don't That's like That's a gross word. Quinoa. It's, it, I think the worst part is how it's spelled. They're they're like fuzzy Kim. little couscous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fuzzy fuzzy couscous quinoa. Another gross word. All those couscous? words. Sound, all the fuzzy couscous does sound kind of gross. <laughs> ah, fuzzy. You know what? Yeah, the more I put, the more I say it, the more uncomfortable yeah, I get. Yeah, freezes coming here with your moist couscous supple kumquat. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, any other techniques? I'm trying to think of uh. I, people are still probably I mean, watching this video mad yeah, about fucking there's, solar flare. There's, there's the fact that Wolf Fang Fist didn't make the list. Oh, Yamcha's Spirit Ball, Spirit which Ball, is kind of okay. cool. Spirit Ball, like, cool. Spirit Ball actually is cool because it was the first time any character had used, you know, a technique where they could actually control where And the, the way he does went. it is cool, yeah. too. Yes. It, it just <laughs> ends up fucking crowd? himself up with it more often than not. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. And, and Especially if you fail the QTE in Budokai 3. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's tough whenever it comes to the Wolf Fang Fist. I'm like, which one do I want to say? Because Wolf Fang Fist is cool. The Yoga Fufu Kang is also just fun to say. It's Yoga fun... Fufu Kang! Yeah, it's, that's just fun to yeah. say. Um, and that's sometimes when it comes to Dragon Ball names. I'm like, oh yeah, Son Goku and, you know, Kuririn. But when it comes to fucking Genki Dama, I'm like, Spirit Bomb sounds cool. I like Spirit Bomb. Spirit Bomb like, sounds cool. Genki Dama is fun to say, but... Uh, it doesn't have that oomph. Actually, you know, and, and it's funny. Someone added Vegito EX, fucking Mike. 
saying like, hey, you guys got to work on your Dragon Ball wiki. You got Scott over here saying Spirit Bomb instead of Genki Dama. <laughs> and fucking, and fucking Mike. What do, you, what? what do you say? Fucking Mike's response is great. I'm like, hey, Scott knows what it is and how to say it. Okay, he's playing to a different audience. And I'm like, yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. He, would, he would never, never do he that. Would never he would never smirch. <laughs> I know Scott. I know he would never do that. That's right, Mike. <laughs> oh, it, it, that, it's it's just funny. Um, <laughs> Let's just go through some characters. Uh, it just, I mean, uh, Chiaotzu, He blows himself up once. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he also he, has like telekinesis, but none of that. Some mm. rocks. How about the Dodonpa? Yeah, we talked about Dodonpa. Uh, Dodonpa, a wee bit. it's so funny. It's... The Dodonpa, when it's introduced, is supposed to be the counter attack to the Kamehameha. Like, it would have been interesting if they had played with that more. Like the Kamehameha is like too big, and the Dodonpa pierces it or some shit. Ooh, like that, yeah, that would have been, been a kind fun. of a cool idea. Yeah. But they don't. Yeah. And Tien always had it to keep Goku in check. It, you know, he could play that up. But it, it was gone. Like I think, does he use it against Cyber Only Tao? In... No. I don't think he does, so. He doesn't need to. He he owns him. Yeah. He breaks his arm and then he gets stabbed. And he's like, stop it! And puts him in a fucking arm bar. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess the Donald shows up like maybe twice in the entire series. I think we, we talk uh, and then all the time if you play Budokai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we mentioned too, just uh, because Tao uh, also had his like killing somebody with your tongue. I think like we brought that up for a second because mm -hmm. hey, if anybody could learn that, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is one of my favorite scenes. Like that is just one of my favorite things. Tao Pai Pai made that fucking villain list for a yeah. fucking oh, he's, reason. He's, he's awesome. So I kill you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, the man whose entire premise is on his back at all times. It's great. Um, it, it is. It is a little, little bit sad. Wait, does he use the don't don't play? Yeah, he, he does. does. Yeah, he totally yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it's a little bit sad, honestly. That um, he even used like the cyber cannon version of it. Yeah, like his yeah. mega buster. Yeah, um, it is a little bit sad that ultimately, like the crane school techniques, never really went anywhere. Uh, let's let's move forward to Boo. Uh, humanity extinction, like the extinction attack. Oh yeah, that, yeah, a lot of people clamoring for that one, which is literally just a, like a, a hundred million key balls flying around the place. Which it's, it's yeah, very cool. Do not get me started on how fucking fucked up that whole scene is. Like legitimately, I have a lot of problems with the Boo saga. That is one of the best scenes in the entirety of it. Like it, it's you you don't want to fight here? Fine, I'll just kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember when I was watching the Boo Saga on Toonami. I, I, so I had watched all the way up to the end of the Cell Saga in Japanese before I ever, like, well, okay, not before I ever saw the dub, but I witnessed. But that was your yeah. version. When I got to the Boo Saga, I actually switched over to the dub mm -hmm. because I didn't have access to the Boo Saga. And I was like, no, I just want to watch this fucking show. And I remember I was watching on Toonami, and I was fucked up by how dark that saga got. Mm -hmm. Like I remember, especially they, how lighthearted it typically is. Like <laughs> yeah. it plays yeah. a lot of things for laughs. Yeah, and and part of that was due to an attack that literally murders the entirety of the population of Earth. With and like That's doesn't a, doesn't Boo feed an orphan his friends? Also or some that shit? yes yes he feeds him people, um, and then he heals his blindness and then leaves him there alone. And now he's living with Mr. Satan. I think that orphan also died. Well, the human extinction attack kind of implies you a few see, things. One of the, oh my god, I just remember the, one of the first things you see is a child, and it's like, that kid's dead. And yep. I think you even see a child yeah. get, I think you actually see a child get like, like blasted through the abdomen with that beam. That whole scene is I have Jesus. not watched Boo in forever. Yeah, I so. think the last time I saw it was when it came out. Dude, that, that's, that whole saga is violent as shit. People's heads get blown up, D dudes explode. I'm gonna have to take our Kai Blu-rays from here and just take a look. Yeah, I, I think they kept most of that stuff. All right. Also, fun fact, do you know why Kai was more censored than uh, Z was? Oh yeah, why? Yeah, so as it turns out, it actually wasn't because it was in a new time slot, although the people have said that might have had something to do with it. The fact that it was more censored and Super was less bloody and violent was mm. because they knew they were marketing it overseas. Oh, that, okay. that was apparently the reason they gave. You gotta get it on Disney XD. Yeah. <laughs> or so. Nick's Whatever, it, it, whatever the Nickelodeon it, tertiary channel was. Well, and it was sort of funny because now it's just on Adult Swim. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Still kids yeah. watching it. 
But yeah, we're off topic. Uh, so so yeah, the human yeah. extinction attack didn't make candy, it because and candy beam candy almost beam, made yeah. it. Candy beam we talked about. Candy beam candy is good. candy beam is great for two reasons. One, it's effective. It's, it's, you yeah, hit somebody it, with it, they turn into candy. Yeah, that's it. Two, they turn into candy. It's, that's it's, it's, it's creative. So it's cool. It it didn't make it because. We only had 12 slots. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's kind of it. That, if like, this was top 24, a lot of these things that we'd mentioned would be on here. And yeah. honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I did not want to edit 24 of these fucking videos, or write 24 of these fucking videos, or voice 24 <laughs> of these fucking videos, it's, it would have been, been fun. We got a lot going on. Yeah, it would have been fun. I, I, it would have been very enjoyable to have been able to go through a lot We'd of these have, things. We have, I think, pretty sure we had enough to, to get there. Which is, again, oh, absolutely. Which is why, one of all, first of all, we have the honorable mentions video like these now, because it's just nice to sit back and talk about the stuff that we actually still really like that just didn't make our top 12. Yeah. Um, oh, but, yeah. I know why Candy Beam didn't make it huh. because it's not its name. Boo said he's gonna turn Vegeta into crackers and cheese. That's uh, not Candy. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. right. Doesn't In make it. Inconsistent. Yep. Inconsistent Actually, attack name. I'm sort of, I'm sort of curious what the actual name of the beam is in Japanese. But yeah, no, he can turn. Bon Bon No Beamu. <laughs> Actually, possible. Bon bon <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. But yeah, so it's, it's really funny. Um, or it's a, just a fun technique. It's a very fun technique. And I would not Android have been... 21 was one of my main in fighters, so it's one of her better attacks. I dig oh, it. Oh, yeah, no, let's totally get the Vore fetish in here. Mm. I'm sorry, that the way that game handles her is really uncomfortable. Not as not nearly as uncomfortable as the way the internet handles her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's female characters in general. <sighs> but yeah, um Vegeta gets to fight as a candy. It's true. You know what? Uh, I, I wish so, Sephora could fight as a little animal cracker. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh my god. If, if they all... But, so that implies that while they're candy, they all maintain sentience. Yeah, and you get to feel every every little rip and tear of Boo's big old chomper. Are we still in Vore territory? Because I feel like we're still in Vore territory. Absolutely. Who's going to eat you up, man? Uh, okay. <laughs> you're going to be, be part oh of god. his mass. In, 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 uh. Uh, then he gets stuck in that little comfortable that, that, uh, gelatinous that, ball. That delicious little, that little cocoon. Warm, little warm hug all day. You just feel nice all, nice all, all, all nice and squishy. Yeah. Absorption is the technique. <laughs> uh, is it, oh, uh, yeah. Or is it a, or is, or is it or is it a transformation? Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's he absorbs both. people. It's, it's both. Is it a it's type both. of fusion? It's, it's a technique that leads to a transformation. But is, it, but is it actually a technique? Because it's just like... So it's it's sort of interesting because it, it it might not qualify as a technique. It might just be a, a an actual function of their body, yeah. which is not a technique. That's just a ability, uh, which is well, I'd, I'd say different. Uh, you know what? Technique I, is refined. Ability is something you just have. Yeah, I think uh, I think ability and technique are two different things. Technique implies something that is like transferable. Yes, like anybody can learn. You can read learn the scroll, this. and now you can do it. Yeah. Whereas an ability is something that you inherently have that you can do. So uh, putting more points into Ultra Instinct's favor then, except for the fact that you know, Goku is the only one again that can use it. Yeah, it's it's. I guess form is except for the angels. Yeah, I don't which, know. Which, by the way, read the super manga. It's fun right now. Oh, is it now? I keep yes. hearing that it's fun. I, I should yeah. check it out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Candy Beam, Human Extinction didn't quite make the. It didn't quite crack the list. Uh, Candy Beam probably would have made it over Human Extinction. If oh I yeah, know. If I had to choose between the two of them, Candy Beam, because like, Candy Beam was one we actually discussed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and Candy Beam is a very specific thing that doesn't like Human Extinction is just something that a blast that kills a lot of people. Candy Beam does something very different. It turns you into candy. That's or eggs. Actually, remember he turns a uh, fucking Chichi. Yeah, he he turns people into food. Yeah. Food, food bean, food bean okay. is food more bean. appropriate. Yeah. Let's go like, with, Piccolo let's can see. create clothes. Boo can create food. Are they in the same family? Like that transmutation ability? I, am, I That's still just all magic shit. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sort of interesting because like when it comes to techniques and and abilities in Dragon Ball, we talk about magic a lot. Dragon Ball had a lot of magic going on. Yeah, for yeah, we had, we had a lot of transformation. I mean, monster carrots touch. And uh, yeah, but, but when we get to Z, it all becomes about key, and then there's more and then science. It's very science scientific. Elements. And but then the, Boo shows up. Now go back. And, to and yeah, then Boo shows up, and it's like, now nah, we back to magic now, motherfuckers. 
Also, it's sort of interesting because a lot of people say that, well, Piccolo is not a demon anymore. He's a Namekian. And I'm like, well, can't he be both? Yeah, he just called himself a demon. He, you can be, like, as long as whatever you can't explain can be magic. Yeah, and, and, right. and, sort of the, and sort of the interesting thing is, is that when it comes to King Piccolo, he's not like other Namekians. He does magic shit all the time. He is a demon. He's a demon Namekian. He's the darker half of the supreme being of Earth. You can yeah. even say Guru does magic. What's this unlock They create the Dragon shit? Balls. Create the Dragon yeah. Balls? Yeah. Like he make, he make, he, he he made, made a dragon. He make it the Dragon Balls. You can't, like, just because they're alien doesn't mean they can't be, like, alien magic. Yeah, yeah they're, they're space off. mystics. Yeah. Precisely. They're, they're basically Jedi. It, <laughs> I, I think, now it all makes sense. I, just think, I think people remember the Cell Saga, and then they're like, no, all the magic's gone. It's because like the entire Android arc is like, hey, this is sci-fi, yeah. and there's like, oh, right, we're still fantasy. Yeah. And it's like right after coming off of power levels, we get robots. I feel like, like I feel like Boo is like course correction for Toriyama. Like, man, I... Be, I, I Go, go. I haven't done he, magic in a while. He got really into Terminator, <laughs> yeah. and then he's like, okay, 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 we're just gonna... Terminator, he, Alien. He, yeah, he watched Alien, <laughs> then he watched Terminator, and it's like, you know what, let's just go back to what I was doing before. Yeah, because I mean, you see a lot more of that old, old OG Dragon Ball stuff in Boo. Yeah. Boo is where he actually gets, like, way more creative. Unfortunately, it's also where, like, the story just goes off the fucking rails. Like, and, and, like the Boo saga is like, it's, hey, it's, a lot of fun, but all these things kind of don't... Like I said, I, I haven't seen it in forever. Yeah, yeah those are those are booze. So honorable techniques. mentions. I think I think we're coming to a close here. I yeah, think, I, I, think... I can't think of literally anything else in Super that I would bring up, and I've gone through every other arc for every other character. I think those are all the real techniques that I could think of to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, sorry. Like, look. Sorry if, if your favorite didn't make the list. And, and we, I think we love them all. And, and, you know, in retrospect, I think maybe Solar Flare could have made this list. It maybe could have, like, it, just in terms of functionality. But yeah, and, would, and, would you, would you is, really have wanted to bump Kikoho off the list for it? No, I apologize for nothing. I mean, I mean, that kind of is it. What what move would we have rather given up? And honestly, some people were saying that Dragon Fist got in, but Kikoho didn't. And I'm like. I'm sorry, Dragon Fist is cooler than, uh, I'm sorry, than, than Solar Flare. And I'm like, yeah, no, Dragon Fist is cooler than Solar Flare. I mean, yeah, Solar Flare We, we, had, a, we had a long conversation about all this. Yeah. If you're a patron, you'll see yeah. that, but. but. Yeah, the Solar Flare is cool and it's effective almost every time it's used. Um, and it's great for strategy. It, it's, it's just It's the equivalent also... of shining a bright light in somebody's eye, though. Kinda. I mean, it, but it. It gets a lot of things moving and keeps a lot of people alive. Yes, that that is what it like. If I can say anything, the solar flare is used in a bunch of key moments. Yeah. So, a cell would not have become perfect oh, without I it. I didn't mean that. Mm. That was really good. No, oh. you did. You did mean that. <laughs> cell wouldn't have become perfect without it. Krillin would have probably died about half a dozen times more. Cell, cell wouldn't have gotten away with that at the first time he got uh, like teamed up on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. He. It, it's, it's, a, it's it's used to great effect when it is pulled out. Yeah, it's a useful technique that ultimately saves people's lives and is very effective at doing what it does. And then Krillin makes an even brighter version of it, which is... Does it? Oh my god, that's the which, worst. Which is also <laughs> countered if you just close your eyes. No, actually. Um, oh, it shines through the eyes. Yeah, he even says, like, there's nothing that'll stop this one, except for the other guy was blind. So it literally had no effect. Well, there's your biggest downfall. <laughs> yeah, that that sucked. I was like, he's got a new version of the... Oh, but it doesn't work oh. because the other guy's... Bl okay, well... Oh. 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 So thank you guys for joining us. Um, and uh, Don't stare at the sun. Don't, 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 don't stare at the sun. Don't do that. Happy December. Are we done? <laughs>